Hi, today I'm going to do a haul video. I did a spot of shopping yesterday with Anna and I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. I went to Boots and Superdrug and Tiger, which is a shop I'm obsessed with. So I will start with the beauty stuff for you beautyholics out there and I'm going to start with Boots. So the first thing I picked up is something that Anna and I like to call a black vest top. Sestrevit top coat. It's one of those things you just have to keep repurchasing and it's not that exciting to buy but when you run out you just need another one like a black vest top. So this is a top coat. If you haven't heard of it already this is just the best top coat out there. It dries really fast, it prevents any sort of chipping for a really long time, it makes your nails super glossy and it's just the best top coat. Whenever I go to get my nails done in a salon and they don't use this I'm always really upset because I know my nails are going to chip after a couple of days. And then I also spotted this little set at the Bumble and Bumble stand and it's the mini set of their new Invisible Oil range. I've already spoken about this range, I really like the conditioner and the primer and this set comes with all three products, the shampoo, conditioner and the primer and I thought this was really good for when I go away in September and it's just so cute I couldn't resist this little zip bag as well will come in really handy if you don't know about this range it's super conditioning lightweight but really moisturizing on the hair okay so now I'll show you what's in my super drug bag another black vest top I needed to get another bourgeois nail polish remover a really boring purchase but I freak out when I run out of these because you don't really know when it's gonna happen suddenly you take your finger out and it's covered in like red from your old red nail polish and then you need a new one so I rushed out to get one of these and I love when they're brand new and they're so nice to use this is just the easiest way to remove your nail polish if you haven't seen one of these already which I'd be surprised if you haven't it's just foam with a little hole in you put your finger and it's soaked with nail polish remover so it's really quick and easy to remove your nail polish still on the subject of nails and I know I don't need any more nail polish I'm completely addicted if you saw this photo on my Instagram and then I posted this photo afterwards, I just have a problem with nail polish, but I saw this little Essie set and I had to pick it up. It's their colour icons and it's so cute, I love the little mini sets they do, it's such a good way to try new colours. I do have mint candy apple already, but that's a really nice small size if I want to take it away with me. And then Fifth Avenue, which is like one of their classic ready orange shades and Mademoiselle which is a light pink and I don't have either of those two so I really wanted to try them and it's this is such a good little set I think this is one of their newer ones so I'd quickly go grab it if you're interested another nail polish purchase I told you I have a problem and this is a repurchase it's models own beach bag and the reason I picked up one of these I haven't finished my other one but I know I will it's seriously my favorite nail polish of the year it's part of their colors for tan skin ranges and I never see this anywhere, it's so hard to find, it's always sold out, so when I saw it I wanted to grab a backup shade because I don't know if these will be around forever and I know this is a shade I will always love in the summer. It's just a really nice bright orangey coral, it looks so nice on your toes and your nails and I absolutely love it so I'm happy to have a fresh one. I thought I'd take a quick look at the makeup stands and I stumbled across these products at the Maybelline stand that I haven't tried before. This one is the Master Smoky Shadow Pencil and this is like a big kind of chunky crayon that you can use as eyeshadow and then the other end there's a little blender brush so I'm looking forward to trying that. If it's good I will let you know but I do love wearing cream eyeshadows. It looks a bit kind of too pencil-y, it might be a bit drying but hopefully it's really creamy, I'll give it a go. I think in the same range as that is this Master Drama Cold Liner and I love a good dark brown eyeliner, I wear them pretty much every day when I'm not wearing black liquid liner so I definitely like trying drugstore ones, I really like the Rimmel ones but I don't think I've tried any from Maybelline so I'm looking forward to giving this a go and I'm sure it'll end up on the blog or one of my videos if I like it. Okay now onto the exciting stuff, now there was a Tiger store where we went and I absolutely love Tiger, it's really hard to explain but everything's really cheap, they do stuff for the home and just random bits and pieces and I always find myself buying everything when I go. So this is a big bag that I got and I'll show you first of all the most exciting thing. Now I saw this rug, I don't need a rug, I really don't, but one day I might and I really really liked it and it was only £7 so I picked it up. It looks like this, it's huge. Well it's actually not that huge but I'll do a little cutaway to show you the actual size. I really like this because it looks like something you'd get in anthropology and normally in anthropology these would be like hundreds of pounds, so expensive, but this was seven pounds and I think it's so nice and I think it would make a room really cosy. I love the colours and I just, I love this style of like interior. So I'm really happy with that purchase. I also randomly picked up a tray. This was the smaller size. They had a big one and a small one. And it's so cute. It's got all this fruit on it. It's got like watermelons, bananas, pears, oranges. And I absolutely love the print. I thought it would be good for taking photos of products on for my blog. But also just to like maybe put some perfumes on. I think it would look really nice in my room. And when I move out, I will take this with me. I also picked up some cotton wool pads because these were only a pound each and I really like the packaging. It's just something a bit fun for cotton wool, which is normally really boring. 
Um, hopefully these are really soft, I haven't actually tried yet. But they have a cute little print on them. I just think these are really nice and it was only £2. Just a few more things from Tiger. I got a couple of birthday cards. I'm one of those people who always pick up cards when I see cards that I like. Because you never know when you're going to need one. Someone's birthday you might have forgotten or anniversary. So I just got these. This one looks like that, which I thought was quite cute. And then that one as well which is more of a birthday one. And then finally I picked up these giant paper clips. I love paper clips, that weird thing to say, but I have so many pieces of paper on my desk, I like to just be able to put them all together and put them neatly in one place. So I have a lot of giant paper clips already, but these are really cool. These two have burgers on them. So there's burgers at the top and then this giant paper clip. And then this one has mustard and ketchup. And I think these are so cute and so fun and they were really cheap as well, so I am happy I picked those up. So that's everything from this random little haul of mine. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up. I know it wasn't that glamorous or that exciting, but I just came home from shopping last night and thought I want to film a video and show you guys what's in my shopping bag. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.